Welcome to this presentation about application disease for cases examined. Corpus disease is caused by progressive cell degeneration and normal screening inclusion bodies, not as lean bodies seen in the parse compactor in the distantial nigra. Degeneration also occurs in other present ganglion nuclei. Biochemically, there is loss of dopamine and melanin in the striatum, which correlate well with the cell loss and repeat mechanism. Feature of Parkinson's disease is a combination of tremor, rigidity, and echinacea, which develops slowly over months or several years, together with changing posture. The most common initial symptoms are tremors and slowness. Patients complain that limbs and joints feel stiff and the aches. Fine movement become difficult. Slowness causes characteristic difficulty in raising from chair or getting into or out of bed. Fighting becomes small and spidery and tends to develop with known as micrographia. Relative also notes other features like slowness and impassive pace. Degenerative Parkinson's disease is almost always initially more common in one side. So the syndrome comprised of tremor, rigidity, pallikinesia, and some add postural change as well. Tremor found with seventh version at presentation. It's asymmetrical. The characteristic four to seven hertz bell rolling, which movement with the thumb and finger. This tremor usually decreases action. It's often asymptomatic at first. Rigidity, which is a stiffness that develops throughout the range of limb movement and is equal in opposing muscle group. This is in sharp contrast to selective increasing tone found with spasticity. This led by increase in tone is usually more marked on one side. It's also present in the neck and axial muscles. It's also plastic rigidity, but more easily felt when the joint is moved slowly and gently. When the arm is being examined, the tone increases when the opposing arm moves rapidly. When stiffness occurs, the streamer is mostly by rigidity, is broken into a jerk resistant passive movement known as cog wheeling or cog leaning. Akinesia, which is poverty and slowing of movement, also known as pallikinesia, is an additional handicap and distinct from rigidity. There is difficulty initiating movement. Rapid fine movements such as piano playing become indistinct, slow and tremulous. Facial immobility gives mass face semblance of depression. The frequency of spontaneous, spontaneous blinking is reduced to produce serpentine stare. There is also postural change. A stoop is characteristic. Gait becomes hurrying, persistent, and shuffling with poor arm swing. The posture becomes called siamine to describe the ape like forward flexion, immobility, and lack of animation. Balance is rate, but despite this, the gait retains a normal pace. All our sports are common in different stages of Parkinson's disease and suffer cobbling like a falling tree. Pronunciation is initially monotone but progresses to characteristic tremulous sphering with arthria the result of combined echinacea tremor and rigidity. Slow and monotonous, speech may eventually be lost completely and arthria. The pressure diagnosis of Parkinson's disease is essential tremors, drugs like neuroleptics, cardiovascular disease, diffuse brain disease, and Parkinson's boss syndromes. This is a list of Disorders that can mimic Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease syndromes, progressive supranuclear palsy, initially known as Stilichard syndrome, comprised of vertical gas palsy, nipple rigidity, dementia, and impaired balance. Multisystem atrophy, previously known as Shedrager syndrome, comprised of atomic and or neural dysfunction, or static hypertension. There is also corticobasal degeneration. There is no laboratory test to diagnose Parkinson's disease. The diagnosis is made by primary physical science 
and distinguishing a geographic Parkinson disease from other Parkinson syndrome. Conventional MR is normal. The mean transport imaging is carried poorly between normal and pathological and between Parkinson's disease and other akinetic Reed syndromes. Treatment of Parkinson's disease mainly rely on multidisciplinary team approach. Lipidoba or Mandubar or Cinemate is the first line treatment in older patients. It's routinely given with the Doba decarpal cell inhibitor and the most effective drug in treating Parkinson's disease. Once started, it's effective only for a limited number of years. It's less effective for tremors and dyskinesia. It should be started at low dose and gradually increased to reduce the side effect. Modified release preparation can be used in combination with the standard preparation. Side effects include nausea, post rehabilitation, and dyskinesia. Dopamine agonist is the first line in younger patients with Parkinson's disease to reduce dyskinesia and motor fluctuation. Examples like ropinolone or carbocholine. Dopamorphine is a dopamine agonist which can be subcut for the short lived benefit in severe of episodes. Compt inhibitor like Inticopone must be taken with lipidopa. They prolong the symptom relief by blocking the action of an enzyme which breaks down lipidopa and helps provide more stable, constant supply of lipidopa. Anticholinergic, they decrease the activity by cytokine to balance out the production of dopamine and cytokine. My Parkinson's disease that consists of tremor at rest can often be treated initially with anticholinergic agent. Side effects include vitamin fusion, dry, mouse and retention retentions. They are contraindicated in older patients because they can cause confusion and hallucination. Monamine oxidase inhibitor like siligiline, they are shown to slow the need for cinnamate when prescribed in early stage of Parkinson's disease. They are approved for use in later stage of the condition, full effect of cinnamate. Parkinson's disease patients are now increasingly being treated by receiving deep brain stimulation or DBS devices. Seeing a scar at the left of region in Parkinson's patient, you should think of the condition either DBS device or associated heart block with a pacemaker. For DBS device to be considered, there is few criteria to be fulfilled as shown in the screen. So the treatment filter for Parkinson's disease in younger patients starting with siligiline, moving to dopamine agonist and then anticholinergic, while in older patients we start with lipidoba and then add content inhibitors. In the exam when faced with a patient with Parkinson's disease, we start by observation for facial expression, blinking frequency and posture and tremor ask the patient to walk. Instead that the tremor is at rest, disappear on voluntary movement, demonstrates the bradykinesia, demonstrates the rigidity, demonstrates the capillary tap, and then ask the patient to the right. When finished, turn to the examiner competently and present your case. On examination, Mr. Smith, he had Parkinson's disease as evident by difficulty to start walking, quick shuffling gait with no arm swing, it is difficult to turn back. He has expressionless face, low volume motor speech, had rolling and titubation. He had pill rolling tremor, pedicanesia. The arm show led by fluidity at the elbow and cogwheel rigidity at the wrist. The gobeller tab is positive. The sign is generally asymmetrical. His handwriting shows micrographia. 